Hey, what is going on, dudes? My name is Freak, and welcome to some Sniper Sunday. So get a sniper and put it in your Sunday. Today's not going to be the traditional live commentary on some Sniper Sundays. Today, we're going to be taking a look at all of the Call of Duties from Call of Duty 4 to Advanced Warfare and breaking down the sniping and figuring out which one was your favorite sniping Call of Duty. So today, we're going to be taking a look, first of all, at Call of Duty 4. Now, COD 4, in my opinion, it was the simplest Call of Duty because you had simple kill streaks, you had the, the simple sniping, you had the simple M40A3 uh, with the slick side reload as I turn on this person for my seventh kill streak. You had the ACOG sight, you had the regular scope, and that was pretty much all you could have on your sniper, uh, making it probably one of the most simplest Call of Duty experiences coming up to sniping. And you had to be somewhat accurate, you had to, had to know what you were doing with the sniper, otherwise, you weren't going to get those kills. Now, now the next Call of Duty is World at War. Now World at War always has a place in my heart for sniping, not only because you can blow off limbs and see people go flying all over the map, but because it was really, really fun to snipe in. I'd like to say that, you know, World at War kind of mimicked Call of Duty 4, maybe a little bit more sway, but the nitty gritty feel to it, the long lines of sight, you had the Arasaka, the Car 98, the PTRS, you had great snipers in this Call of Duty just to blow off limbs, just to kill people across the map. You could go on easy easy kill streaks in this Call of Duty for sniping and this one will always have a place in my heart uh, for sniping as I get my seven kill streak for dogs now the next Call of Duty is boom bada bing MW2 now MW2 kind of released sniping uh, into the mainstream where people came out like phase you had optic sniping uh, trick shots and uh, for my opinion MW2 is the best and most fluid sniping experience you can possibly have on a Call of Duty and it's it just it's it's like simple but it's not simple it's difficult if you know what you're doing you're gonna no scope people in the head and they're gonna die instantly you're gonna come around the corner see another kid with a shotgun take him down get another guy and get a seven kill streak for your Harriers next Call of Duty is Black Ops 1 as I get a double headshot almost a third here but the guy runs away like a coward and now on Black Ops 1 it was known to be one of the hardest sniping experiences on Call of Duty to date. And uh, in my opinion, when I hopped on here yesterday to get this gameplay, it was actually really, really fun. And I enjoyed it a little bit more than other Call of Duties. Um, but in the time, in the mainstream sort of thing, it was very, very difficult. Now the next Call of Duty is MW3. And in this one, it's super easy. When I was hopping into here as I'm just turning on kids it's almost as fluid as it was in mw2 and the msr is such a good sniper and uh, i actually really missed playing this game uh when i was sniping in this because i was like wow i don't remember it ever being this smooth before and uh, it was actually a load of fun next call of duty is black ops 2 Sniper's Paradise. This is where people would go off, do trick shots, you know, get feeds and stuff like that. And uh, a lot of snipers really enjoyed this game. As you guys can see, I got the ballista. And I think the balancing of snipers was done really well in here. As you guys know, the DSR-50 pre-patched was probably one of the best snipers in Call of Duty history, next to the intervention, of course. Uh, but that was just because it was a one-shot feeding machine. Next Call of Duty is Call of Duty Ghost. Now, I hated Call of Duty Ghost, but I'm going to say this right now. It was probably one of the easiest sniping experiences uh, in Call of Duty. Because yesterday when I was hopping on here, I was like, okay, great. Now I got to play Ghost. And uh, i probably not going to have a lot of fun on this right now. Uh, but then I started picking up this gun. I was like, oh my god, the USR is a beast. It is a monster. It is so freaking freaking ridiculously easy to snipe on. I don't know if it's just because people are bad on that game, but it was easy. Now the next and final Call of Duty, as you can see on your screen, is the newest one, which is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which not a lot of people like just because of the exosuits and the movement of the map. In my opinion, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare sniping is a little bit difficult. And uh, as I found yesterday, compared to Black Ops 1, this sniping is a little bit harder. And not only because people are bouncing around, but the sway and then the ADS time is like a sloth and it takes forever uh, to try to kill someone. I don't know why the ADS and the sway is so high on this game. Because people are bouncing around, it's very, very difficult to hit people. Um, but it is a fun experience to snipe on this game as long as you can hit them normally. So this has been 
Sniper Sundays. Hope you guys did enjoy it. An Easter special. Hope you guys have an awesome Easter. And let me know down below which is your favorite Call of Duty and which is your least favorite Call of Duty sniping down below in the comment section of this video. From Call of Duty 4 to Advanced Warfare. For me, it would be MW2 would be my favorite and Advanced Warfare would be my least favorite. Now, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Drop a like and if you would, it took me about six hours to get all this gameplay and record this video for you guys. So drop a like on it and support the freaks out there and share this video with your friends on Twitter and Facebook so they can come over and tell me which is their favorite and which is their least favorite. Also, hope you guys enjoy. Have a great rest of your day and I guess I'll catch your freaky faces in the next video. Hey, what is going on dudes? My name is Freak and welcome back to Q&A Friday, episode 91. Sorry last week I was a little bit sick. I'm just getting over a cold finally and I'm getting a little bit better. So thank you guys for all the support. Thank you.